Welcome students to class 5 maths lesson 3 division session 3.5. In this session we will do word problems on four fundamental operations. This is a very important video students do watch it till the end and here we are going to cover all the four basic fundamental operations which are plus minus multiplication and division. So the word problems that we are going to do, you will be dividing and multiplying in the same question or you would be first adding or subtracting and then doing the multiplication. So to figure out what to do, please walk with me every step. Do not skip the video. Let us look at the example here. Weight of 316 bags of wheat is 30652 kg. Find the weight of 147 such bags of wheat. Now let us look at the information given to us. We will read the question again. Weight of 316 bags of wheat is 30652 kg. So we will write weight of 316 bags is equal to 30652 kg. It is all from the question. Look at this weight of 316 bags. That is what I have written here. And how much is the weight? Weight is this quantity. So this number I have written here. Now let us read the question. Find the weight of 147 such bags of wheat. So they have given us the weight of 316 bags and we have to find out the weight of 147 such bags. So first we will find out the weight of one bag. And weight of one bag is going to be less than weight of 316 bags. So we will divide to get the answer for weight of one bag. We will write weight of one bag is equal to 30652 divided by 316. Let us divide. When you divide, you will get the answer as 97. So we will write weight of one bag is equal to 97 kg. Now in the question it was given find the weight of 147 such bags of wheat. So weight of 147 bags is equal to 147 into 97 because 97 was weight of 1 bag. Weight of 147 bags is going to be more so we will multiply to get the answer. When you multiply you will get 14259. Don't leave it at this step. Do write the answer properly. So we will write answer 14259 kg. Now students, let us do a worksheet. I will be giving you hints so that you can solve the questions. Just listen to me carefully and try and solve the questions on your own before you see the solutions. The first question, the total production of sugar in India in previous three years is 5596325 kg. If the production in first two years was 2365842 kgs and 956321 kg find the quantity of sugar produced in the third year so in this question they have given the production of sugar in three years is this amount 5596325 kg then they have given in the first year it was this 2365842 kg and in the second year it was this amount 956321 kg and they have asked us to find the quantity of sugar produced in the third year. For this first you will add the first year's production and the second year's production. Whatever answer you get, that answer you will subtract from the total production of sugar. Whatever answer you get, that is going to be the quantity of sugar produced in third year. Question 2. A factory produces 1, 2, 8, 4, 4, 3, 5 bulbs in one year that is 365 days how many bulbs does it produce in the month of april in this question they have told the number of bulbs that are produced in one year which is equal to 365 days so we will first find out the number of bulbs produced in one day for that we will divide the total bulbs produced by 365 we will get the production for one day then we have to find out how many bulbs are produced in the month of April? We know April has 30 days. Now whatever answer you found out for the number of bulbs produced in one day, you will multiply that number by 30. When you multiply by 30, you will get the answer to how many bulbs does it produce in the month of April. Question 3. 
Arun sold two eight seven mobile phones for rupees seven six five nine each. From this money, he bought three sixty nine watches. Find the cost of each watch. This question says Arun sold two eighty seven mobile phones, and the cost of each phone was seven six five nine. First, we will find out the money he got by selling the mobile phones. So that is going to be one mobile phone is seven six five nine rupees each. Okay, so two eighty seven mobile phones is going to be two eighty seven multiplied by seven six five nine. Now this is the money that he has got after selling the mobile phones, right? Then he bought watches out of it. Whatever money he got, he was able to buy. Three sixty nine watches. Now we have to find out cost of one watch. One watch is going to be less. Now we are going to divide that total money by three sixty nine. This will give us the cost of each watch. Question four: A farmer produces three six seven four five eight red apples and two six five nine eight four green apples. He mixes these apples and packs them in. Four sixty-two boxes. How many apples did he pack in a box? If forty apples remained unpacked, so we will first find out the total production of apples. We have the number of red apples. We have the number of green apples. We will add these two numbers and find out the total apples produced. And after that, look at the last line. Forty apples remain unpacked. So forty apples are not getting packed. We will subtract forty from that total number. Now, whatever number we get now, after adding these two numbers and subtracting forty out of it, this number is the number of apples that are being packed, and they are being packed into four sixty-two boxes. And the question wants us to find out how many apples did he pack in a box, that is, in one box. So, this total apples which are being packed, we will divide it by four sixty-two. We will get the number of apples in one box. Question five: Find the greatest seven-digit number which is exactly divisible by eight thirty-four. For this question, students, you will first write the greatest seven-digit number, which is nine 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 nine, and then divide it by eight thirty-four. Whatever remainder you get, that remainder you will subtract from. The greatest seven-digit number. Mm. This will give you the number which is exactly divisible by eight thirty-four. Make sure you have given each question a good try before looking at the solutions. Question one: The total production of sugar in India in previous three years is five five nine six three two five kg. If the production in first two years was Two three six five eight four two kg and nine five six three two one kg respectively. Find the quantity of sugar produced in third year. For this, we will first write sugar produced in three years, which is five five nine six three two five kg. Then the sugar produced in first year, two three six five eight four two kg. After this, sugar produced in second year nine five six three two one kg. Now this is just the information that was given to us in the question that we have written till now. After we have written this, we have to now calculate the total sugar produced in first two years. So we will write total sugar produced in first two years is sum of these two numbers, which is two three six five eight four two plus nine five six three two one kg. And when you add, you will get the answer as three three two two one six three. Now that is the sugar produced in first two years. Now to find the sugar produced in the third year, we will subtract the quantity of sugar produced in two years from the total production. So we will write sugar produced in third year is equal to five five nine six three two five minus three three two two one six three. And we get the answer as two two seven four one six two kg. Answer two two seven four one six two kg. A factory produces one two eight four four three five bulbs in one year, which is three sixty five days. How many bulbs does it produce in the month of April? So first we will write 
bulbs produced in 365 days which is equal to 1284435 after that we will now find out bulbs produced in one day so bulbs produced in one day we will divide the total production by 365 so we'll write 1284435 divided by 365 division gives us the answer as 3519 so that is the number of bulbs produced in one day so we will write bulbs produced in one day is equal to 3519 now we know the number of bulbs produced in one day we have to now find out the bulbs produced in a month of april april has 30 days so we will multiply this number 3519 by 30 okay when you multiply by 30 you will get the answer as 105570 you will write answer 105570 bulbs question 3 arun sold 287 mobile phones for rupees 7659 each from this money he bought 369 watches find the cost of each watch so now first thing we'll do is write the information that is given to us mobile phone sold is equal to 287 that is the number of phones that he has sold then we'll write the cost of each phone is equal to rupees 7659 they have given the cost of one phone now we have to find the cost of 287 phone so we will multiply 287 and 7659 when you multiply you get the answer as 2198133 so arun used this 2198133 to buy 369 watches so cost of one watch will be 2198133 divided by 369 cost of one watch is going to be less so we will divide it by 369 and find the answer when you divide you get the answer as 5957 so cost of one watch is actually rupees 5957 question 4 a farmer produces 3674584 red apples and 265984 green apples He mixes these apples and packs them in 462 boxes. How many apples did he pack in a box if 40 apples remained unpacked? Now first we will write the information given to us. We have how many red apples are produced, we have how many green apples are produced. So let us start with writing that information. Red apples produced is equal to 367458. Then we'll write about the green apples. Green apples produced is equal to 26584. Now we will find out the total apples produced. Total apples produced. We will add these two numbers and write. After adding, we will get six three three four four two. Now we jump to the last part of the question, which tells us that forty apples remain unpacked. So unpacked apples is equal to forty. So apples packed will be six three three four four two minus forty. We will subtract these unpacked apples. Which will give us six three three four zero two, and one more information is given to us. These apples are packed in how many boxes? Four sixty two boxes. So we will write number of boxes for packing is equal to four sixty two. The important information that we have got till now is the apples that are packed is six three three four zero two, and the boxes that we have, which is. 462 let me just put that for you once apples packed and number of boxes for packing now we have to find out how many apples did he pack in a box so in 462 boxes he has packed 633402 apples so in one box we will divide and find the answer apples packed in one box is equal to 633402 divided by 462 when you divide you'll get the answer as 1371 so we will write apples in each box is equal to 1371 you'll write the answer as answer 1371 apples in a box question 5 find the greatest seven digit number which is exactly divisible by 834 for this we will write the greatest seven digit number 7 times 9999999999 then we'll divide it by 834 so we'll write divisor is equal to 834 we'll divide we get the answer as 11990 which is not important we have to look at the remainder here 
now this remainder we will subtract from our dividend so remainder is 339 now to get the divisible number we will subtract 339 from our dividend so 9999999 minus 339 which will give us 9999660 this is the number that is exactly divisible by 834 which means when you divide 9999660 by 384 the remainder that you will get is 0 so you can write answer 9999660 since it is a number it has no units this brings us to the end of the worksheet until we meet again stay happy and keep learning